Okay, so no webcam right now because I'm gross. Uh, because I haven't showered. Um, Jushichi and Jister is going on right now. I just came in midway into game one. Uh, so I figured I'd commentate this just so it's at least there for posterity. Looks like we are in absolute end game here. Jister. Wow, actually, they're very early in their decks to be in Endgame. Looks like it's been a dangerous game thus far. We've got four kings in discard. Jushiji has played both of his jokers already. This is, uh... I have no idea what's going to happen right now. Jester is not in dragon form, so... Good block on the DQ. Or er, the, the regular Q, I suppose, with possible glimpse. My question is, Jushichi just going to stick for play fast attacks and win? Or is he going to go for the throw? Nice block! The baits! Okay, there's the AA attempt. He definitely doesn't have jokers. So this can't be fatal from Midori. Since he is, uh... He is not in dragon form. Which means Yushichi has 7 life. There are now... Two embers in discard, so if Jister dodges, he's left at one HP. Was Ju probably looking for a chip out here? Jister has found one, two, three dodges, three of his eight already, so he probably has another one, I would guess. Yep, there it is. That's game one right there. Just there, takes it. By the skin of his teeth, he does. Very, very close game one. So now I'll have an actual better grasp on the game state since I'm not jumping in midway on this one. Staving off the throw attempt early here. What does he have? Anything? 2J? Just 2. <laughs> okay. So that actually, though it drew him a card, did not really get him ahead any, but... That's Vayner, I guess. Nice throw.
also gets himself uh, an embers into discard and confirms some decent damage with coupon. Embers, of course, being really important in this matchup, since Jaina wants to make sure that Midori, when he's forced to rely on his very few dodges, pays a price for it, as that's how she sets up her endgame checkmates, much like we almost saw in the first game. Finds a K to establish a more dominant attack that actually does chip. Trading evenly, but giving Midori cards, of course. Jaina is very oppressive in this matchup. She needs to squeeze out as much as possible before Midori gets into dragon form, though. It's all about when you decide to go for the throw with Jaina, and when you just stick with your attacks and blocks. Jister, as we saw last night in our set with Thilo and him, with, with he and Thilo I suppose would be correct, uh, plays a very block heavy range so it doesn't surprise me that he's willing to just sit around and not, uh, not do a shitload, because <laughs> he's getting more cards, which makes him more and more dangerous. Okay, so out comes the dodge from Jister. He's of course built a decently sized hand, so now he's going to be looking to convert some of it into damage. AA here, if not just K probably. Get 12 damage. Or a normal throw, okay. Gets the knockdown set up, possibly going to throw up dragon form here. Ooh, very strong 7 coming out here. Went for a cross-up, of course. 7 AA, big damage. Dew gets an embers and discard, but that's small consolation for receiving that duff to the face.
Nice single ace. Get himself back in the game. We'll see how many he has behind it. Respects that joker. So a joker gone from either side now. Blocked Q. He is, of course, not under the 35 threshold yet, so cannot retrieve it. Surprised we haven't seen Dragon for him yet, honestly. But just are maintaining a healthy life lead decently far into this game here is uh, not the greatest for Jushichi. Dodge is going to hurt, probably into a king. Oh, or another AA. Ow. <laughs> this is looking, uh, looking rough for Jushichi now. Okay, decent chip damage here. Doesn't buy it back, because he's a little too low on life to be worrying about that. Seven points of damage. It's like you got thrown, except you didn't. Your block just got shot, and it did a lot of damage. I think that's the highest chip attack, now that I think about it. Crash Bomb does five, but... Ooh, DQ. Glimpse, probably. Yep. QJ is lethal if Jushichi does not have a burst. Didn't have the J, or chose not to play it. Either way, Jushichi's now at two life, which means... Unless he can just spam aces, he's just going to lose the DQ. Game two to Jister. Uh, Jishichi's been playing Mono Jaina in the league, so I don't imagine he'll switch. But it's possible he might be thinking about it. Nope. Strong opening with some decent chip. Gives Midori cards, but 7 damage is 7 damage.
Ooh, that's gonna hurt if he's got a glimpse. Thinking about it. Does he want to burn the dodge resource for the possibility of running into a burst? Just leaves it. Single J, possibly double. Nope, this one. Unstable power and goes with the Q or the gold burst. So Jushichi gets four aces out of this. Which is a super big deal. Yes, he loses the uh the Joker. But the Joker play there is done since Midori revealing Q can glimpse it to go which beats the which beats any mix up except blocking. So this guarantees Jaina loses that mix up unless she gold bursts. So that's a very smart play. Um, just uh, jokering there in order to get that huge resource gain. Nice charge shot. So that's going to lead into some big damage. I probably would have followed into that one, I think. Because... Oh, I guess he hasn't played a Joker yet, but... Nice throw. So if Jister doesn't burst, then this can combo straight into AA for lots of damage. 5 AA. 30 damage. So Jishichi with a d decent lead this time. Working the throw game.
More chip. Seven chip. Charge shot is so good against Midori. You get so much mileage out of that card. that all day. So, ties up the life once again. Jushichi still has two aces in his hand. So Midori does have to worry about those. We have not really seen much Dragon Form play from Jister in any of these sets. I wonder why. Ooh, just not letting up on the uh, the offensive game right now. Down to 17 life. This is danger zone for Jushichi because now he has to worry about AA. Nice throw, not letting up on the offensive pressure despite taking the hits. I believe 6 AA is lethal here if he has it, but he respects the Joker. 24 damage, or 24 life remaining on Jister. Locks the Ace Ace, which I believe was a play specifically to beat DQ, as DQ beats single Ace but not double. Chichi buys back one of the Aces, powers up for the other. Dragon Fall. Now this is a shitty mix-up, because if Jushichi's wrong, he just loses, basically. Being wrong on any combat choice is death. Be it from DQ, K, dodge into something. Dodge into something is the only thing that doesn't kill him. If, and only if Jushichi has a Joker, because I believe he's already played one. Yeah. There's the cake. Game over. Jister wins 3-0. Damn. Jister's... Jister's really good. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, people.